कैच द लाइव एक्शन फ्रॉम द एस ए ट्वेंटी लीग ऑन स्पोर्ट्स एटीन एंड फ्री स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन द जियो सिनेमा एप डाउनलोड नाउ एज डस्क सेट इन इट्स द सनराइज एज ईस्टर्न केप taking on the Joburg Super Kings live to you from St George's at the toss it wasn't them that won the toss for the first time actually Faf Duplessis he said he'd forgotten what it was like to win the toss he won it and decided his side would field first Rossington last time we saw him here walked in and walked out pretty quickly he'll hope that he'll do that much better today Jordan Herman yeah a youngster who's been spoken about quite a bit Alzari Joseph the tall west indian with pace lot of it bang away it's four runs to begin what a shot it's short on that side it's against the wind but never mind that easy as you like just pop to mid off and with his very first ball katia gets a wicket herman departs 16 for 1 saral ervia look at his 20 over career oh dear oh no oh can you believe that calamity a yes and then a wait and then there was nothing and then there could be nothing said over is gone without scoring 16 for 2 it brings aiden markram to the crease inventive and successful and that's up and away that's off the middle of the bat that's onto the roof again i think and over drags it and will probably yes it will it beat mid on and get away to the fence so a bonus boundary and it cleans up the stumps i think that becomes a dead ball and this could be a wicket donum ferreira circles and takes a comfy that is a big blow for the sunrisers eastern cape markram has gone shepherd into the attack and after two deliveries he's had an impact Yeah, I'll be disappointed. Will be Aiden Markham. It's dug in short. He's hitting towards that scoreboard, that short boundary of 55 meters. But he only manages the top edge. Gone straight up in the air. Markham goes. Sunrisers now 45 for three. That's beautifully caressed through the covers by Rushington. Oh, misfield bonus boundary. Oh this sounds like his age there is Rossington's on his way so Pankiso has had a fun tournament and it's continued here today sixth delivery of the over he's got himself a wicket fantastic little innings from Rossington he's got to make his way back to a well played 40 or 31 a look at John John Smuts career he's batted up at the top of the order domestically oh god gone oh what a strike This man Pangiso he's been fabulous wickets and more wickets strife and more strife for Sunrisers East Cape but he's allowed to continue to play and boy is he making it pay it's 56 for 5 that oh could have been Oh no. That's gone straight up in the air. Oh goodness me. They're falling apart at the Sunrisers East of Cape and this is a huge wicket. Marco Jansen the four man falls to Pangiso. Marco Jansen has to go for 6. 62 for 6. one bounce and over the ropes four just 55 meters that way oh, oh how's that missed it's got all the way to the fence as well and you're loving the atmosphere in the band 
Absolutely. I mean, the home ground of Geberka is wonderful. That's nasty play. Beautifully swept and it's quick down this little hill here at St. George's. Rissi pops up in the air and that could be the wicket. Another one for Pangisu. It doesn't matter. He changes ends, but the result is the same. Pangisu yet another four wicket haul. Yeah, Aaron Pangiso, wild old fox. John John Smuts, he's got to make his way for 22 of 18. The Sunrise is now 102 for 7. That's hit up in the air. Is the contact good enough? Yes, it is. Good strike by Koss. Bowled him. Set himself for the short one. And it wasn't. It was length and it hit the top of middle. James Cost apology. Oh, Brian Cost apologies. Goes for 11, 116 for eight. Oh, well done. Oh. He's going for the big one. He's not going to oh. get there. And that oh, is absolutely outstanding as a catch. Pop Duplessy has shown what he can do with the ground fielding. Now, an example on how to catch. It's one of the top ones. Unfortunately, Rudolf van der Meber's got to go back to the cut. Sunrise is now 126 for nine. He's there again, he's there again, and it's straight in. Excellent fielding from the skipper. Top, top work from his side. His bowlers have done the job here. He goes for 27. Sunrise's Eastern Cape all out for 127. But where there might be a frown in one change room, all smiles in the other. 127 is what they've bowled their opposition out for, and they'll be ecstatic about that. Duplessis, who was absolutely super in the field tonight, full of some brilliant saves, some really good catches, a flick to the run out. Reza Hendricks, his numbers are pretty good, and he's done a great job for South Africa in the T20 format. And interesting, Magala, who's been bowling the second over of the innings. It's nicely punched, but no run. Herschel Gibbs. It's nicely timed, and that should be the first boundary of the day. That's flown off the bat for a pretty defensive shot on cue that's for up to bless you for you that could be a chance it is there's the breakthrough the change of field the man back square on the fence the open bat face carries the whole distance and Reza Hendricks is on his way that man Magala you cannot keep him out of the action Hendricks departs again 14 for one in at number three neil brand is his first chance to show his value in this betway sa20 leave it's caressed short boundary oh and two free <laughs> shot oh a skimmer oh inside edge again Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Nice shot. Beautifully played. It's our volley, but he's put it away. Yeah. Oh, there's the wicket there after. Brand gives himself room. He moves early, shows his stumps, and then tries to carve it through the offside. And all he can do is knock it onto the stumps. Not really what the uh, Jobic Super Kings wanted at this stage, especially how well they were going. But he's got to make way, make, make himself way back to 16. Yeah, Deploy comes yep. in at number four, averaging over 31. Catch it! And that's nasty oh. played, over extra cover. Will it go the whole way? No, one bounce. Catch! Shouts of catch it, shouts of catch it! Obliged! Marco Janssen takes the catch. It is Smuts with the breakthrough. 
The captain departs for 47. It's 80 for three. Smonelo Macania. Shot. That's beautifully done. It's threaded through that offside. Yeah, it was a bit of a gift. Great work here. In the Fantastic, fantastic piece of fielding this. And is up and the throw is in. Quick as you like, no chance for Makanya. It's 86 for four now. He's got four. There it is, the moment, and it gets through. And he stumped, he's on his way, we knew it was coming. Rulo van der Merwe ends up on top. Oh, the man has brought energy to the team and is stepping up and doing the job for his captain. Donovan Pereira coming down the wickets. He knows only one way and that's to take the bowler down. And on this occasion, the bowler wins. Donovan Pereira goes for fall. Next one, Romario Shepard comes in the crease at number seven. He is a big hitter as well. Use of the feet and that's beautifully played. Carved away, beats backward point, boundary time. Pulled away, will it bounce short? Oh, not only has it bounced short, it's gone away to the boundary. Yorker again, and that could be a single. Oh. Pulled away, and a brilliant bit of fielding, but he can't get a hold of it. He launched himself, and that's the boundary that the Joburg Super Kings were after. God, it was so brilliant for the first four. I think he could have done himself a dirty. That is it. That indicates that that is the end of the match and the Joburg Super Kings in an absolute nail biter have got over the line thanks to the efforts of Deploy with 47 of 40. Yep, that's over the line. That is it. That's the final curtain on what was a wonderful, exciting encounter here at St. George's Park.